it's unkindly hot today. It's the rattle of change. Meager restitution for a hard day's work. Playing guitar on the side box. You might notice my throat is a little bit gone right now. I was out there playing guitar with my friend Jack Rudy. We've been practicing up. Today we decided to practice out in the open where people could see us and give us money. I think we were out there for 40 minutes. We made $5.25. But we were along the river, and uh, the festival was off, so obviously we weren't going to get as much money as if we were in the downtown core and the festival was on, so hopefully we we're going to be making a little bit more when we go out. I think we're going to be out tomorrow, so yeah, if you're in the neighborhood, go check us out. We're probably going to be playing somewhere in the downtown core. Alex was in town today, but I didn't see you. Alex, speaking of the books uh, that you're going to be reading, I think you should read the Chopin one. That uh, sounds really interesting. And I like the one that's uh, about the evolution and the battle for America's soul. That one sounds interesting as well, although perhaps a bit enraging. But can you have too many books? Yes, you can. You most certainly can, and I definitely do. I've been spending all day rearranging my room trying to get all these books to fit in here. Let me give you a little bit of a tour. So here's all these books uh, by the window. Boop, 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 for my friend Jack. Still haven't got him, gotten him his birthday present, so I think I'm going to hand him those mustaches tomorrow. What better gift can you give? The gift of a mustache. The gift of facial hair. And I've got all these books over here. What I did was I took all of these books on this shelf. That used to be used to be all these little crappy books from when I was a child. A lot of knockoffs, you know, sort of Star Wars fictionalizations and that sort of thing. And I replaced them with my Discworld collection by Terry Pratchett. And spin around and odds and sods of other things. Got some Canadian fiction over here. And oh, I've got all this. These are all neat ones I need to get rid of down here that I either have extra copies of or just don't want anymore. And I gotta find a place for my CDs. I don't like this big CD rack getting in the way. And my DVD collection as well, which is much smaller. So yeah. Don't get too many bucks. I watched, uh,. Yeah, Jake? <laughs> what did you watch? I watched, uh... The Wasted Wednesday with Weedle and TK. Oh, yeah? What did you think of it? It was pretty fine. Yeah? Definitely like the... Pokemon sequence with the... I can't remember what route that is, but, you know, like the root music. It's good. That's good? That's good? It was good right there, yeah. Yeah? It was good? I thought it was pretty good, yeah. You thought it was... What did you think it was? It was, I thought it was good. Oh, well, good. Yeah. I'm glad that you thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, for proof that you can definitely have too many books, this is my father's book collection. Dum 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 on the floor, on the floor, tons of books on the floor, on this makeshift bookshelf over here, and these are all DVDs in the corner. What do you think of that, Jake? It's been crazy. A lot, a lot of books are there. Yep. Toy Theater, The Puppet Theater's Handbook, Dictionary of Puppetry, Puppet Theater, The Wonderful World of Puppets. I don't think my dad has ever done anything with puppets in his life. There's a strange building. Oh, nope. Not a building. A strange beeping. There's a strange beeping outside the window. The window, not the window. My tongue is tied. Strange beeping outside the window. I don't know what it is. Maybe we're supposed to evacuate. Maybe it's the nuclear holocaust. Come already. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I think we did a count one day. I think he has something like 20 books of puppetry. <sighs> I just don't understand it sometimes. Well, I'm busy being hot and sweaty right now. What about you, Jake? Same here. That's good? Yeah. Especially with the, the part about being hot? Yeah. Well, I'm always hot. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. Even when it's cold out. Especially when it's cold out. So have a good day, you fellas. Keep cool. Keep calm. Keep safe. It's cold on the other side of the street, my friends. It's dank and dark and cold. I wouldn't wish the other side on any man. I can't say much more than that. The other side is in my heart, in my soul. 
I'll never get the other side out. But my journey isn't over. I have to cross back. Get home. Get warmth back in my bones. That's the secret, see? That's the danger. You think you've made it, when in fact you've only achieved half the battle. You've only made it halfway. <laughs>